A message on prayer and peace coming to you from the house that Dignity built. I thank God for this opportunity and I am humbled at the chance to present to you a premier piece from my book, Walk Into Your New You, A Personal Journey of Self-Rediscovery and Healing. Good evening. And I am Thomasina Bell. I am honored to share with you an excerpt from a work, Walk Into Your New You, titled, Just Thinking. If we could take a step back and find out where things veered off and went askew, we may be able to try to redirect some things. But inasmuch as this is not within our power to do, we have to relinquish all unto he who can. He who can turn back time. He who can rectify, set in order, on course, and start anew. He who is everlasting to everlasting. He who can step out of eternity into time. He who knows every one of our thoughts and everything that we desire and everything that we attempt to do. It's no wonder that when it's all said and done, after we've tried everything that we know, and consulted with those whom are degreed, those who are knowledgeable in the study of human thought processing and development, or even those who go to God on our behalf. It's not until we come to the end of ourselves that we come to the beginning of Christ. It's when we put aside every weight and sin that so easily besets us. When we can look unto the hills from which cometh our help and get out of our own way that we are able to hear from God. That God is then able to talk to us individually or collectively. The fear will be no more. The doubt will be erased. The torment will be cursed at its root. The unbelief will be extinguished. And as we allow God to burn away the dross is when we will come through as pure gold. Having endured, overcome, conquered, won, and triumphed to stand solid on the word of God and the power of God through the Holy Ghost to saturate our very being, the very essence of our spirit man is when we will be able to stand and see the salvation of the Lord and receive the blessings and the peace of God. Just sharing.